I'm Commander Mike Fink. And I'm Flight Engineer and Science Officer Greg Shamatov. And currently we're traveling around our beautiful planet at 17,500 miles an hour, 200 miles above the surface of the Earth. And the International Space Station and space offers us a unique opportunity to study a variety of concepts and principles that would be difficult if not impossible on Earth's surface. In front of us you see some spheres. These are robotic spheres and uh, if you remember from Star Wars these are very much like uh, the uh, target droid that Luke Skywalker was fighting against as he was trying to master the lightsaber. Yeah, we think they're pretty cool and we're here today to share with you that the things that you're learning in school have direct real-world applications. These guys are like independent spacecraft. As Mike mentioned, we're inside the space station. These guys are flying around as if they're in space all by themselves. They've got their own computer system, they got navigation, they got propulsion, they have uh, communication, they have everything necessary to be a completely independent spacecraft. Yeah, they move around using compressed carbon dioxide and they're powered by AA batteries. And the idea of what we're doing up here is we're changing the program, we're changing the algorithm so that these different, these spheres can fly around on their own. They can navigate around, they can accomplish a task, they can talk to each other, and they can do everything necessary to avoid obstacles and work together to accomplish their different objectives. And the computer programs, the algorithms that we're testing today, will lead to new kinds of satellites that once they're launched on rockets, they can actually automatically dock with satellites that have like run out of gas and like refuel them or repair them and this will save us a, a lot of complicated maneuvers that require ground teams to coordinate and execute. You can imagine in the future robots like these could operate on a space station or on a base uh, basically with mechanical arms and vision systems and other tools and they can do all kinds of things to help astronauts with their tasks. They could even fly outside the space station doing surveys, inspections and repairs that would otherwise require spacewalks to do. Yeah, currently our International Space Station doesn't have camera coverage to cover our entire structure, so having a couple of these could be really useful. And in the future, we're also thinking of having these huge space telescopes flying in formation using the same algorithms, or ones just like it, to, and these huge telescopes will fly in formation, combine their light, and actually be able to look at planets around distant stars. So this is just one of dozens of really cool experiments that we have going on here on the International Space Station. And we'd like to encourage you to join us. There's room for you at NASA. We need people who understand math and science and biology and, and, and everything. There's so much to learn. And in the future, we know that we're going to be watching TV and seeing you guys do your experiments up in space. <laughs>